you doing today? Good. How can I help you? Oh, I just came to fill out some paperwork. Yeah, that's not reporting or anything, is it? Absolutely. I'm interacting with my government. I'm on uh, okay, I'm publicly accessible you. area. So I need you to step outside your I'll wait right here in the AC. I need you to exit Please the building. do not touch me. Turn your video Please off do not and touch step me. outside. Please do not touch me, Then I'm sir. requesting you to leave. I understand your request. I'm requesting I'm you to leave. I'm your request, sir. You are going to Please leave. Please do not put your hands on me, sir. sir. You need to leave. Please do not put your hands on me. You need to me. leave now. You're violating my First Amendment right. You're violating my constitutional rights. What's your name? My name's McLean. Shane. You need What's to leave. What's your badge number? You need to leave. What is your badge? Sir. Sir. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh God. Sheriff's Office, Deputy Peterson, this line is recorded. How may I help you? Let D3 know that the 13th officer from the other night with the vest on, mm -hmm. the guy that follows us around, mm -hmm. he's back. Yeah, taking pictures. He's got a bulletproof vest on. Just press on the back of it. Yeah, there's been all kind of bulletins on this dude. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hello, everyone. James with Open Government Investigations. Today, I will be providing you with an update on the previous video that was released pertaining to a situation Catch You Later had in a social security office located in Gainesville, Florida. If you haven't had the chance to check it out, you can select this info card in the upper right hand corner to view that video. To quickly bring you up to speed, on April 15th, 2022, Catch You Later was assaulted by a security guard, allegedly named James McLean. This happened at a social security office located at 4562 Northwest 13th Street in Gainesville, Florida. The security guard is currently employed with a security firm called Paragon Systems based out of Herndon, Virginia. I uh, wanted to hear your side of the story and help you with the report today. Say again. I wanted to help you I wanted to hear your side of the story and help you with the report today. Right, On April 19th, Catch you later, met with Officer D'Amico of the Gainesville Police Department to file a report about his incident. Catch you later, proceeds to explain to Officer D'Amico about his version of the occurrence. Yes, sir. I'm a benefit. I'm a, um, I received benefits from them, okay. and I was going to receive more. Oh, while we're talking, do you have a weapon on you? I just saw your weapon. Nothing there. Okay. I took it out before I went into the yeah. Social Security Department. It. Okay. Anyway, uh... <clears throat> I went inside the door to videotape in the lobby, which I'm legally allowed to, okay. as per uh, Smith v. Cummings Supreme Court ruling recently. And the security guard beat me up, and I have a video of that. He wouldn't even allow me to talk to him or nothing. He he said, I'll show you the law, and he ran past me and got a piece of paper with a yellow sticky on it. A uh, note, you know what I mean? Is there something I can view for you on your behalf? Arrest him. He's assaulted me. He broke the law. Is there, is there some record? Is there a video I can view on your behalf for evidence? Yes, sir. Okay. Officer D'Amico asks Catch You Later if there was video of the incident that he could review. Catch You Later pauses the recording of his interaction and the two head inside the police station. A review surveillance video. And I spoke with the security officer and I spoke with the facility manager who runs the business, okay? So, and I've spoken with you and interviewed your side of the story as well. I'm going to write a report to, the, to you. You're going to arrest me for trespassing? Okay. The report's going to be under 02-22-005559, okay? All right, you can keep this for your records. Yes. No one's being arrested today. Thank you. Okay, not on your side or on his side. Because I did see that you fell to the ground, but I did not see that it... The way you fell met the, met the intentions of a battery to commit harm to you. He would have, okay. he pushed me deliberately into the door, saw, frame, not the door. I saw an argument trying to t trying to tell you what you can and can't do on the property, and then tell you to leave with verbal direction from a federally contracted security officer. And then I left, but nonetheless, he still violated my when first I, When I saw right. a hand go out to maybe, I put my hand up like that. When I saw a hand go out to escort you or to show you which direction he wants you to go, verbal direction from a federally contracted armed security officer on a federal building, right? Then I saw some, uh, maybe a bit over reaction where you kind of pushed away, not knowing what his intentions were. It's because he was coming forward. Then, I put my hand up and, and he you, pretty much pushed, ran into when me. I, when I saw you push away like that, I saw you fall to the ground, okay?
Officer D'Amico proceeds to tell Ketchy later that he personally didn't see any malice from the security guard's actions. Now if we go back to the moment the security guard opens the door before Ketchy later is allegedly pushed to the ground, you can see McLean forcefully push the door, signifying he was experiencing frustration and anger with the situation. Right. You're violating my constitutional you rights. What's your name? My name's McLean. James. McLean, you need what's to your leave. badge number? You need to leave. We did have some disruption. We had some re refusal from direction from a security officer twice as big as you that has weapons on his belt, right? And I don't think you've been victimized by battery because you were not placed in any kind of fear. Oh, no, I was definitely victimized right? and I'm definitely scared. Officer D'Amico again uses his psychic abilities to express to catch you later that he was not in any fear from McLean, who, as Officer D'Amico put it, was twice his size and armed. Now, if we review the distance between the two, you can see that McLean is standing within inches of catch you later, violating his personal space. If citizens shouldn't express any fear or negative feelings with having an armed individual enter within inches of their personal space, why is it that we constantly hear from law enforcement officers that they fear for their safety whenever an individual, especially those with cameras, are no less than 10 feet away from them while documenting their interactions? He did. I mean, it's already on video, but I understand. Yeah, yeah and their video is going to be on file to be subpoenaed and to be questioned and in inquiry on. But my view, and I took photos of it, and I'm going to put it in your case file for you, mm -hmm. right? Because I want to show both sides. Right. That that's going to be up in there. But I cannot conclude that he committed a battery on you today based on what I saw in the video. Right? You can't conclude can't today conclude, or I can, tomorrow. I, I can conclude that what what I can't enforce, I can't enforce your your um, Smith your Smith versus Cummings. Yeah, Cummings that had an interaction with a police officer and that you can you can videotape them in their duties. But what I can enforce is the coach the U.S. Code 102-74.420 that it is prohibited and you got to have permission because there's people that are applying for Where citizenship, does, there's people that are applying for social security benefits, there's a lot of private information. Where does it say it's and prohibited? I, and I've gone out of my way to print that for you. Yeah, right there. The first paragraph is prohibited. Okay. So, so next time just get permission. Say, hey, I'd like to videotape my encounter with you because I didn't, it didn't go well the last time I was here five years ago. Officer D'Amico then explains to Catch You Later that CFR 102-74.410 does require that individuals first get permission to record the interior federal buildings. While the Supreme Court decision of Smith v. Cumming does affirm the right of individuals with the ability to document what public officials do in the course of their duties, the Supreme Court ruling doesn't override the federal regulation. While I understand that many of you will not agree with this, I feel that I must state that I personally believe that individuals should be able to record public officials in the course of their duties without any time, place, or manner restriction. Well, I'm not and going like, back to that like place. To I'm not going right. back to that place. I think the guy's a thug. And it may be, it may be you would have a supervisor said, okay, that's fine. We want your business chair. We want to take care of you. No, they don't if care. If you feel comfortable videotaping us, we'll do that. And then it wouldn't have been you randomly showing up, videotaping from the parking lot, and narrating, walking inside, and then someone is baited into an altercation. I didn't bait him. He came around all by himself. It didn't need any help whatsoever. I gave him several cautions on how it could have gone better, right? And if he had just had a little more tolerance what about and a the little fact more patience. All right. What about the fact that he what you needed and then that you would eventually have left? What about the fact that he deleted my video? That's a, that is federally illegal for him to do that. So I don't know what I can enforce on that. What I can is document it in the report if we're going to pick it up at a later time that it's there as a placeholder. We need to do stated, that. Hey, there's another video that exists, right? It's now missing and it had to have occurred during the time that he had possession of my phone. And, and okay. why did he have possession of my phone? Because he stole it from me. And that's not enforceable. This thing's almost a thousand bucks. Yes, sir. Catch you later, then explains to Officer D'Amico that McLean stole his camera and deleted footage, which can be seen in the previous video. Officer D'Amico states that he doesn't know what he can enforce based on that circumstance. Now, as we previously discussed, Florida Statute 812.131 makes it a second-degree felony for an armed individual to rob someone of their possession or possessions without consent of the property owner. So I called that him beats and I said, petty cash. I said we, don't need to, we don't need to have anybody's property. We need them and their property to leave together. So, so you, I, want to, I want you to keep that copy of provided right. for you. And I want you to keep this. This is going to be your report that I'm writing for you today about your okay. altercation with the federally contracted armed security guard at the federal building, okay? All right. Now, the wishes of the property manager stated, Mr. Um, 
cannot be denied any Social Security benefits or he cannot be denied any services that are due to him. What he can be is trespass not to return from our property because of his behavior today, was the, which she even agreed was disruptive and took the side of the security officer. And if you need to use their facility again here in Gainesville to call through the 800 number, schedule that, get, those, get that going, and then you can use the building because you cannot be denied services. But you, they but did deny you're, you're, services you're there today. For services, I was there for services and they denied them. Well, their statement was, they, you, you came in here for he no said she said though and right there's sta she their asked me consistent with yours that you wanted to exercise first amendment rights that's not correct right that's and, not my statement to them we're filming with a four foot three four foot tripod middle tripod in your hand that you were foregoing any kind of intentions to receive services today. that's not that's so not that's correct. what a policeman is going to conclude today jerry well if you look at the video that's here the he asked me why are you here and i said to fill out some paperwork okay as stated right there, I mean, that was before anything else jumped off. So, so I understand it, that yeah. you guys are going to take his side. It's, is it reasonable to believe no. when, when you were narrating and coming from the parking lot, entering the business with a tripod, that your intentions were to do anything else? But Absolutely. That? Absolutely. Okay. It is reasonable because how else do you prove that you've done something? And, and this guy's deleted a video. I mean, I know that's not right. That's a violation of my rights. That, did you have any paperwork to bring to them for your for services that you wanted? They got all the paperwork. Or were you supposed to walk out of there with any paperwork today? Yeah, I would have if I'd have been able to complete the mission, but they stopped yeah. that. So yeah. I don't have anything except a sore body yeah. and dissatisfaction in his behavior. I'm sorry. Well, we'll keep that as a placeholder. If we have to build upon that, we can. Where's the park, man? Not here. <laughs> no, it ain't that bad. I'll make it. All right. In a couple of days, that that report will be approved through the public release policies, and you can have a copy of it, either mail to the house um, or come by in person. Just let you know what you want. All right. Thanks. Good luck. If you would like to contact the Gainesville Police Department to provide an eyewitness statement for the felony robbery by sudden snatching, they can be reached by telephone at 352-393-7500. If you do choose to call, please make sure you let them know that you are calling in reference to case number 02-22-005559. If you happen to record the conversation, please submit it to swfloap at gmail.com. If you have a video that you would like me to review, please use the link below in the description. The link will take you to a submission form that you can fill out with all the necessary information and details. Also, Please make sure you head over to Catch You Later's channel to give him the credit he deserves. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the like or dislike button, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on future releases. If you've been a follower for a while, make sure to hit the like or dislike button, share this video, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Memberships are less than a dollar a month, so if you'd like to support the channel, click the join button below. If you'd like to make a one-time contribution, links are available in the description below. If you have a channel and would like to be featured in the description of my future videos, as well as the credit section, please send me an email at swfloap at gmail.com. We've been out with him before from the other night. Yeah, for uh, 17, I'll be 51, and any other available unit from day six. Yeah, April 5th, and I have a little volume. I switched over, so do you have any, any updates? Thank you. Okay, send the call to any available day shift unit, please. Being the nine, turn up. 3 Alpha 31, you can say to me. Yeah, April 3 Alpha 20, I'll be 51, 31. Alpha. 3 Alpha 11, 3 Alpha 10. Great. My computer's not working. Um, I'm near the government center. Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah, enables a lock of the 89 to stop it off of it. Yeah, uh, 13P wearing a bulletproof vest, so be careful, wait for backup.